We're here with Augsburg women's head coach Jennifer Britz. Jennifer, thanks for coming and sitting down with us today and talking about your basketball team. No Just to start, you've got a real young team this year. I mean, you're only returning four four players from last year. You have 13 uh, newcomers this year. Mm -hmm. How exciting is that for you as a coach to have a, a fresh batch of talent just coming in like that uh, and new minds to sort of shape? It's been uh, really enjoyable so far. It's been a, a very coachable group, a um, very hardworking group. Um, it's just kind of a whole new feel um, to the program and, and what's going on, and they've really grasped what we've tried to do and what we're trying to do. Last year, two of the two of the returners, Sarah Nay Levine and Lexi Thompson, had had really strong freshman years. Serena ended up being honorable mention in Mayak. What do you expect to see from, from those two guards coming back this year and trying to improve on last season? Well, hopefully they continue where they left off. Obviously, you hope they can come back and, and continue to have only progressed from where they were at when they finished the season because it was a progression for them. It was a learning experience. Um, they were at the ability as freshmen to get a lot of minutes last year. Um, and so this year, you know, expecting for them to pick up on the leadership aspect and really taking control on that end and just only add to their game. Um, Serenade becoming a little bit more of a threat from the outside, just people are going to shut down or drive a little bit or try to attempt to do that. Um, and Lexi to utilize her slashing ability a little bit more. I think we're going to be able to put her in a position that's only going to help her thrive. Right. And then another, another person you have coming back, Shannon Rennie, she seemed more like a, one of your shooters last year. He likes to likes to shoot the three ball a little bit. How, how have you seen her sort of improve and unmold her game as she's been with the program? I think it's just a matter of Shannon just getting confidence. It's one thing we've talked about for her her freshman year. You know, she came in her freshman year. She had the ability to play behind some kids. Um, so not many people in our conference really knew her or knew of her. And so she has the ability to thrive right away in her freshman year. And then her sophomore year, she was the people everybody was gunning for. Um, she was our primary shooter, so she got body to bang quite a bit. And so we just talked about things that we needed to do to improve um, ability to get to the basket a little bit more as well as to have outside game. Last year, you got a lot of rebounding from your from your guards. You don't you don't have anyone over five eight returning for you this year. So you've got a lot of new players. Where where is the rebounding going to come from this year? I mean, are, are you, do you have some new contributors that can that can bang underneath, get some boards for you? Or? Yeah, I mean, we're definitely undersized compared to a lot of people in our conference, um, but I also think we're extremely athletic. Um, so you're going to have to, you know, have some give and take. But we have to have a little bit more of a nose for the ball and a, a little bit more of a get. We'll have to get boards from our guard position. That's definitely going to be critical for us. But you have Kylie Persing and uh, uh, Brittany Deshaw inside that are going to play some significant minutes, Allison Rudy, Tracy Schrank. You know, there's a number of people that I think will come in in their uh, first year and actually be huge contributors for us. All right, you're already starting to mention some of the freshmen. How deep is that bench? What kind of rotation, how deep of a rotation are we going to maybe see this year? I really think we can go 10 deep at this point in time. You know, I mean, we've yet to play a game. We're coming up tomorrow on our first conference game. So it really give us an opportunity to see where everything's at. But I do think we have the ability to stretch a little bit further into our bench this year, which is something that's limited us in the past. Obviously, a team is setting, is setting goals this year. Last year ended up, ended up with five, five wins. Mm -hmm. Do you, have a, do you have a goal on improving that? Do you have a, do you have a number set at all? Or? Um, I don't know about necessarily a specific number with that group set. I mean, we know what you need to do to get into one of the play playoff positions within our conference. And obviously for our whole group, that's an overall goal that they have. We've pretty much broken it down per half of the season. So we have pretty much three goals that we're really working on in the first half of the season. We'll come back and reassess things kind of over after break and then continue to build off of that. You know, I know that's something that they're striving for and something that we're striving for as a coaching staff. Um, and we'd like to see, you know, additional victories and things. And I really think you have that, we do have the opportunity to do well with that. What steps need to be taken this year? What, what things do you need to see on the court to really measure your success or to have that success that you're looking for in the goals? I really think for us, since we are a young group, we have to see consistent improvement. You want to see progression throughout the year. You don't really want to see us, you want to see us minimize our plateaus. So we might have a little lull there for a little bit, but we want to be able to come back and respond pretty quickly from that. Um, and just seeing more contribution from some people and continue to see competition. I mean, it would be great to continue to see um, a consistent 10 people deep. Um, I think that's only going to help us as we get further in the season because of the wear and tear that you have and the number of people that you're going against. So um, I think that that will only help us to get more and more people that get more experience. Coach, thanks for sitting down and good luck this season. Thank you.